In this video lecture, we will learn about dextrocardia. Let's start by looking at an actual question asked in NEET PT. Below is shown an ECG of a 22-year-old man without any history of chest pain, breathlessness, etc. The ECG was done as a routine health checkup. What is the diagnosis? Now, uh, as I always told, whenever a clinical history is given, you have to focus on that also while coming at a conclusion. So here is a 22-year-old man without any history of heart disease and ECG was done as a routine health checkup. Now let's come to the ECG. If you see the ECG, the first thing you notice that there is a right axis deviation. This is going down. The moment lead 1 goes down or there is a predominant QRS is negative in lead 1, it's a right axis deviation. You don't have to think any further. So this is going down. So it's a right axis deviation. The second thing you notice is the QRS complex in each of the lead, precordial lead is negative. So there is a kind of global negativity, right? And the most important finding for dextrocardia would be AVR, that is, that looks at the heart from the right side is positive. So this is a clear cut indicator of dextrocardia. So AVR is positive which AVR looks AVR is always negative because it looks at the heart from the right side and every you know electrical impulse is actually traveling away from it until unless the heart is dextrocardia so the correct answer would be dextrocardia let's look a little in further as already explained the first would be the right axis deviation which should be because the heart is placed towards the right then AVR will show a positive QRS complex, so this is very important. Inversion of all the complexes, uh, that is a, a global negativity, so you will have inverted P waves, QRS complexes also inverted, like an absent R wave progression in chest speed. So you normally know that R wave, QRS complex, the R wave is smaller and as you move from lead 1 to V6, the R wave become predominantly positive and larger than the S wave. But here if you see R wave is always small and the negative uh, S wave is always bigger. So these are the features of dextrocardia. 